Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to The Morning Mindset. I'm so thankful you've joined me. This is our opportunity to get our minds aligned with the truth of God. And I wonder how many of you know that this is a listener-fueled project. By that, I mean we have partners who have come alongside to help us publish The Morning Mindset. They do that financially by underwriting the costs and by helping to support my family and I, honestly, so that I am able to set aside the time to bring these morning mindsets and other related resources to you each day. It's my desire that we're able to produce even more resources as we move forward. It also enables my wife to set aside her time to deal with the nonprofit, which is called Not a Needy Person, which you can find at notaneedyperson.org. I just appreciate all of our partners. And we have a handful of people who have become partners very recently. And I'm so excited to welcome them to the Morning Mindset Partnership. We have Sherry and Krista and Christopher and Natasha and Jessica and Elonga and Nadia and Nathan and Barbara and Rebecca. Those are some of the most recent partners. Thank you for becoming partners with the Morning Mindset. If you're interested in becoming a partner, you can go to my website, carrygreen.com and find out more. That's C-A-R-E-Y, green, just like the color, dot com. Thanks so much for your prayerful consideration. All right, today we are still in Proverbs chapter number 10, and we're looking at verse number 26. And this is a very interesting proverb because it does what Proverbs often will do. It uses an illustration from nature or from everyday living that we are familiar with to make a point about a bigger subject. And today, the proverb says, like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes. So stop for a moment and let your mind just imagine what those situations are like. For me personally, I'm not real familiar with the idea of vinegar to the teeth. I think it kind of puts your teeth on edge, makes the, the edge of your teeth feel kind of sharp. But then that other one, smoke to the eyes. Man, any of us who have been around a campfire, or an outdoor fire of any kind, know what it's like when the wind shifts and the smoke comes directly in your face. And the smoke suddenly is getting in your eyes. Your eyes burn and you you can't see and you have to just immediately get up and get away from there. So he's saying, like vinegar to the teeth and like smoke to the eyes is what? He says, so is the sluggard to those who send him. I bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? The sluggard. This is a person who is lazy. That's what the word sluggard means. It's it's one who does not want to do hard work, one who avoids hard work at any opportunity that they get. And it says when a sluggard is sent by someone to do a job, apparently, or to carry a message, perhaps, or to uh, carry out some sort of a, a task for the person who sent them, He's like vinegar to the teeth, smoke to the eyes. That means the sluggard is not going to get the job done. And it's kind of implied that he's going to be avoiding the difficulties involved in whatever the job is. He's going to be uh, trying to keep himself in the position where he can do the very least possible and still get by. And that says to me that he's a person who doesn't know what it means to have diligence in their work. And so stop for a moment and think about yourself. What is your work? Now, you don't have to be employed to answer that question. You see, because we all have work. We all have work of maintaining our homes. We have the work of stewarding the health that the Lord has given us in our physical bodies. We all have the work of family and the things that go along with that. But then some of us are blessed with employment. We have someone who is putting us in a place of responsibility, is telling us, if you give me this much of your time, I will give you this much money, perhaps it's per hour or per year in exchange. And in those settings, the one we are responsible to is affected by our diligence in our work or our lack of diligence in our work. So I want to ask you to consider for your employer, or for your family, who you're responsible to, for the things you do around the house. Are you like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes to them because of laziness or a desire not to have to work very hard? 
Oh, Jesus, make us, as your followers, people who are diligent in our work. Make us powerful in our testimony through the kind of work that we do. Do not let us fall prey to laziness. Do not let us fall into a position where others deride us and mock us as Christians because we are smoke to their eyes. Lord, provide for us everything we need to be diligent in our work. For your name's sake, we ask it in the name of our Savior Jesus. Amen.